Today's Bible English, Samuel chapter 7, verse 3. Samuel read Israel to victory. Then Samuel said to all the people of Israel, If you are really serious about wanting to return to God, get rid of your foreign God and your image of Aceras. Determined to obey only the road, then he will rescue from the Palestinians. So the Israelites destroyed their image of Baal, Aceras, and the worship only the road. Then Samuel told them, Come to Mizpah, all of you, I will pray to the road for you. So they gathered there, and in a great ceremony, drew water from where? poured it out before the road. They also went without food all day and confessed that they had sinned against the road. If so it was Mizpah, the Samuel became Israel's judge. When the Palestine rulers heard that all Israel had gathered at Mizpah, they mobilized their army and advanced. The Israelites were badly frightened when they learned that the Palestine were approaching, prayed with the road our God to save us from the Palestine. They begged Samuel, so Samuel took a young lamb, offered it to the road as a whole burn of praying. He prayed with the road, the help Israel, and the road answered. Just as Samuel was sacrificing the burn of praying, the Palestine are ar arrived for the battle. But the Lord spoke with the mighty voice of thunder from heaven, and the Palestine were thrown into such confusion that the Israelites defeated them. The men of Israel chased them from Mizpah to Beth-Kar, slaughtering them all along the way. Samuel then took a rod stone and placed it between the town of Mizpah and uh, Jeshena. He named him Benazer, the stone of help, for he said, Up to this point, the road has helped us. So Palestine were subdued and they didn't invade Israel again for a long time. And throughout Samuel's lifetime, the road's powerful hand was raised against the Palestine. The Israelite town near Akron and Gath the Palestinians had captured were restored to Israel along with the rest of the territory that the Palestinians had taken. And there was also peace between Israel and the Amorite in those days. Samuel continued as, as Israel judge for the rest of his life. Each year he traveled around setting up his court first and better. Then a Gil Gilgar and then at Mizpah, he judged the people of Israel at each of these places. Then he would return to his home at Lama. Then he, um, and he would hear chases, cases there too. And Samuel built an altar to the Lord at Lama. Israel requested a king. As Samuel grew old, he appointed his son to be judge over Israel. Joel and Abiza. His oldest son helped court in the Beseba, but they were not like their father, for they were great, greedy for money. They accepted bribe and perverted justice. Finally, the leader of Israel met El Lama to discuss the matter with Samuel. Look, they told him, You are now old and your sons are not like you. Give us a king like all the other nations have. Samir was very upset with their request and went to the road for advice. Do as they say. The road replied, For it is me. They are rejecting, not you. They don't want me to be their king any longer. Ever since I brought them for Egypt, they have continually forsaken me and followed other God, and now they are giving you the same treatment, do as they ask. But Solomon warned them about how a king will treat them. Samuel won against a kingdom. So Samuel passed on the road's warning to the people. This is how a king will treat you, Samuel said. 
The king will drive foot your sons into his army, make them run before his chariot. Some will be commanders of his troops. While others will be slave laborers, some will be forced to flow in his field and harvest his crop, while others will make him weapon and chariot equipment. The king will make you a daughter from you and force them to cook and bake and make perfume for him.